We begin our report with a verdict in the Rust movie set shooting. A jury in Santa Fe has found the weapons supervisor guilty of involuntary manslaughter. However, the jury did not find armorer Hannah Gutierrez-Reed guilty of tampering with evidence. Our Lise Preston has more. We find the defendant, Hannah Gutierrez, guilty. The jury found Hannah Gutierrez-Reed guilty of manslaughter. This case is about constant, never-ending safety failures that resulted in the death of a human being and nearly killed another. Gutierrez Reed was in charge of nearly 20 weapons during the filming of the movie Rust, including the prop gun held by actor Alec Baldwin that discharged killing Helena Hutchins and injuring director Joel Souza in October 2021. And what do you know? Prosecutors argued Gutierrez Reed was negligent because she mixed live ammunition with dummy rounds on the set. She had three hours in the morning waiting for the camera crew to arrive. She had every opportunity to go through that box of dummies. That's something you can consider. The defense tried to shift the blame to Baldwin, who they argue never should have pointed the gun in the direction of Hutchins. They say at the time of this shooting, Gutierrez Reed wasn't inside the church and didn't give Baldwin the gun during the rehearsal. He's going off script. That defeats any idea that that was foreseeable to Miss Gutierrez Reed. If she doesn't know what's happening, she can't foresee it. Mm. Elise joins us now from Santa Fe. Elise, now, what happens now for Gutierrez Reed? Well, John, she was immediately taken into custody. There was a moment after the verdict was read where her defense tried to argue that she was not. The defense tried to argue that she was not a flight risk, and so they asked uh, for her allowed for her to be allowed uh, to remain out uh, until that sentencing. Uh, but the judge ultimately decided that this was a death involved because of the gravity of the situation. She needed to remain in custody until sentencing, which could happen within the next two months. John, um, I spoke earlier with entertainment lawyer Trey Lovell, who said this verdict in his view, wouldn't affect Alec Baldwin's case, although we just heard from Gutierrez's Reed's defense lawyer, who seemed to make a, a, a pretty powerful case. What comes next for Alec Baldwin? Well, throughout the trial, we didn't just hear from the defense, John, that tried to shift the blame. We also heard from prosecutors who repeatedly said, you know, we will get to Baldwin. We will get to Baldwin. His trial uh, is coming up in July. It's expected to start in July. I have to tell you, though, John, that when this verdict came, the jury only deliberated for about two and a half hours. And I think everyone around was pretty much shocked that they came back so quickly. There was also a moment where there was a question the juror wanted the jury wanted clarification on basically when does blame shift like does when is uh, Gutierrez Reed absolved and when does Baldwin's uh, Baldwin's blame kind of take in part. So I think what happens with Baldwin remains to be seen. Uh, but there were a lot of moments here in the trial over the last week and a half where people kept saying that's coming. A crucial question for that Baldwin case and a really interesting one for the jurors to ask. Elise Preston, thank you so much.